Biden administration pushing world to World War III, U.S. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. The U.S. is instigating a global conflict that could result in World War III by sponsoring Ukraine and waging a proxy war against Russia, Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has warned. In an interview with journalist Tucker Carlson, Greene, who represents Georgia, said funding a foreign war is not in the interests of U.S. national security. Washington has provided Ukraine with 113 billion US dollars in various forms of assistance since the start of hostilities in 2022. Fighting a proxy war with Russia in Ukraine, which is a non-NATO member nation, is not protecting America's national security interests. It doesn't protect the United States of America. As a matter of fact, it pushes us closer and closer to World War III, the politician stressed. She went on to say that while Kiev is clamoring for the US to speed up the approval of the $60 billion aid package that remains stalled in Congress, American citizens are losing their country to the illegal invasion that's happening on our southern border every single day. We are angry and people have had it. We don't want $60 billion to go to Ukraine because as we slept last night, we just went $40 billion more into debt and that's because the interest on our debt is so huge and our debt is so massive, Green claimed. Green warned House Speaker Mike Johnson that moving ahead with the aid package for Kiev would be one of the most egregious things he could do. The second term Congresswoman added that US intelligence operatives are directing the Ukraine conflict on the ground. She argued that Johnson's support for such policies belies the Republican leader's claims of Christian faith. Every single day to fund a war, to pay for it, to continue it, to advise it, to have our CIA on the ground over there running that war in Ukraine against Russia, nuclear-armed Russia that is a complete departure from anything that is Christian, Green said. Terrified passengers have leapt into the sea to escape a fire ferry traveling to a popular tourist destination off the coast of Thailand. The vessel from Surat Thani province was about to arrive at Koh Tao when a passenger suddenly heard a crackling sound and smelled smoke, Methri Pramjampa said he saw billowing smoke and fire less than five minutes later, and that was when people started shouting and rang the alarm. We could barely get the life vests in time, he told the Associated Press. It was chaotic. People were weeping I also teared up. All 108 people on board, of which 97 were passengers, were safe, officials said. Footage showed huge plumes of black smoke billowing from the ferry, with vehicles and families including young children on board, and several boats going to their rescue, people could be seen hurrying out of the ferry's cabin while putting on life jackets, as thick black smoke swept across the vessel and it became engulfed in flames. Methri, a Surat Thani resident who often travels to Koh Tao for work, said several boats came to their rescue around 20 minutes after they called for help, but the boats could not get close to the ferry out of fear of explosions. He said people had to jump into the sea to be rescued. Everyone had to help themselves, he said. The ferry from Surat Thani to Koh Tao carries both commuters and tourists. Koh Tao is about 100 kilometers from the coast. Yeah. 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 Yeah.